Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Man, aka Prophet Howard, and I'm getting ready to uh, speak to you from a prophetic standpoint. The United States is headed for a potential collapse, but it can be avoided if certain things are done. And hopefully they won't censor this video, but I'm going to talk about those things that can be done to kind of delay or avoid a collapse. YouTube, be fair on this one. I would entitle this, America is headed for a collapse. What we can do to potentially avoid it. I'm going to go in depth when I have more time. I'm going to talk a little bit about and comp compare, if you will, the United States to Rome and what happened to Rome and what caused Rome to collapse. And we should be able to learn from these things because trying to please everybody, you're heading down the wrong road. You're heading towards the road of collapse because certain things... Uh, make enemies look at you as a weakened enemy and someone that can be conquered. Same thing that happened to Rome. So I'm going to go in on this one a little bit, but I'm going to try to censor myself. You know, it's only fair if you're going to censor me censor all this weird stuff the horror movies the all the stuff other stuff america's headed for a collapse what we can do to avoid it number one number one overcome hidden enemies overcome hidden enemies what do i mean by this as a people collectively and the majority if there is a group that's subver subverting the United States from within, find that group, make them change their ways, or you might have to execute them. What do I mean by this? Anything that's being created to bring problems to collapse the economy. Anyone that's trying to collapse the economy. That's what we're known for as the economy. So anyone that's trying to collapse the economy has to be seen as an enemy by the higher powers. The higher powers need to decide whose side they're on. Are they going to just collapse themselves? Or are they going to say, forget this collapse stuff. Let's get rid of the people who are trying to do it. That means... People who are trying to depopulate the United States with tainting food, tainting other things that people consume, inject, they have to be viewed as, okay, you can stop doing it now, or something like that. Now, I told you I'm censoring myself. Not gonna say names or nothing like that. Number two, the top one percent should focus on getting the other ninety nine percent to come up a little higher. If you if you just try to stay at the top yourself and you do things like again to subvert you know, to undermine, then guess what? If you destroy your economic base, then your economy is going to collapse as well. Because if the consumers don't have the money to consume, then, then the majority of what this country is about will come down to a minimum. This is a capitalistic nation. 
So that brings me to my next point. Capitalism is the way. It's the way. So going back to my previous point and comparing this point, they're they're pretty much hand in hand. You have to continue capitalism. You have to continue capitalism. You can't, if people don't have the ambition to go out and get it for themselves, then you have to build up those who will help them. Not the ones who ain't gonna help them. Now we talking disabled people. We talking elderly who didn't make the right economic decisions unknowingly so they need a little help. Those should be the main two bases. Not these dudes walking around Milwaukee looking like warriors. But then, hey, could I borrow, could I get $2? Could I get 50 cent? No, capitalism is not for people who don't want to capitalize. It's for people who do. And you have to continue it. It has to continue. Your enemies need to see strong wealth. Because people don't respect poor people. So if you allow your country to become poor, then guess what? Guess what? Your enemies are going to see that and they may decide to attack you. Which brings me to my next point. These people who are undermining everything, make them come out in the open. And make them, if they wanna cause our enemies to look at us in a weaker light and attack us, then they should be out there to be attacked as well. I know this is very controversial, but this is prophetic. This is straight from the most high. A lot of y'all been praying to God about this country, praying to God about your financial situation, praying to God about your kids being autistic and ADHD and telling, you know, telling God only you can help them. Well, you got to stop believing these people that's putting these things into them just contributing to this and you got to start my next one you got to start asking questions you got to stop trusting people so much and start asking questions when your baby's at the hospital make sure them nurses is woke say things offensive like they ain't sleep back there are they because they be back there dropping people babies oops did i speak for Prophetically, they'll drop your baby on your on his or her head and won't tell you. Uh oh. Happens. So y'all gotta stop trusting people so much. You you anything they say, you putting it in your body. Do some research. Get you a periodic table and find out what the most high put into the earth that will help your health instead of relying on people who have a, a you know what's funny? The accuracy in these Marvel movies and DC Superman, how Lex Luthor was. How Thanos is. The accuracy is ridiculous of what goes on behind the scenes. We ain't gonna say no names, but there's a couple people that need to be dealt with, and the powers that be need to decide do I wanna have to spend eternity living with this decision to harm all of these people intentionally? gotta next point you gotta control your spending you have to know from the top to the bottom you gotta
gotta learn how to, you know, save. Gotta learn what to store up. That's the top two. Because Rome collapsed because their military uh, wasn't handling the resources correctly. But we gonna talk about this more. I think I said enough. I gave you some tidbits. I went into some prophetic stuff without saying no names, without trying to avoid the censor words. Think about what I said in this video from top to bottom. If you see this, top to bottom, you're gonna have to live throughout all eternity and be judged by what you're doing right now. Everybody, don't believe no deceptions. You're gonna have to live with it. And on that, I'm gonna close. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you later on today when I make another video.